Why did you cross the road without my permission? I was trying to help. How many times have I warned you not to cross the road? It's not safe, okay? I told you to say to people around here, why did I go across? But you wouldn't listen, you crossed the road. What if something had happened to you? I saw you sell, uh, sell, selling to that woman. Did you collect money? Yes. What is it? You see, it's you! <laughs> it's you! Wait, go and look for her, go, collect that money. Yeah. Madam! Madam, you never pay. Grace? Grace! Grace! Is this really you? Grace! This is me, Frida from school. This is yes. you? This is me, flesh and blood. Oh my world, I can't believe it. What are you doing here? Um. Oh, what I'm doing? We, we usually come here to sell our business. Planting chips. Oh. Really? Oh. Mommy, it's only just going down. Let's go and open. Oh. Did she just call you, Mommy? Grace, are you married? Yes, <gasps> I am. You remember Joshua from school, right? Wait, 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 wait. Joshua, you two later got married. <laughs> yes, and God blessed us with this bundle of joy. <laughs> oh my word. Uh, How we don't want to keep you. you. Uh, Hi, Auntie. We have to be on our way now. No, hey, okay. girls. Let me go drop it, girls. No, okay. You, can, you know, you don't have to. You don't want to stress uh, me. Let's, let's see. Our house is far from here. Let's the road go. is. Let's you go. see? Maybe girl doesn't want to stress. So come on, let me take you, girls. Welcome to my humble home. Sit down. How often can I take this leave for this kind home? <laughs> I see you still have jokes. I am serious. How do three of you manage to sleep here? I am pretty sure without AC, this place would be living hell the mosquito the heat oh it's unimaginable it's not that bad is that what you've been telling yourself huh and what is joshua doing about this huh. well he he doesn't have enough now so this is the best he can do at the moment oh right there his best is not good enough at all. Oh. Well, enough about uh, me and Joshua. Mm. So how are you? It's been a while. What's going on with you? What do you do? Are you married now? <sighs> of course I am. Here. Mm, wow, that's a beautiful ring. And very, very expensive. You were looking at... 3.5 million naira ring on my finger. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The husband must be very rich. Oh, yes. Very rich. He's doing well for himself. Ah, babe, you should know me now. You know they trust my vibe again. I can't settle for less. I know if you marry poor man for this my life. <laughs> Unlike um, you. That settled for less, you know, getting married to Joshua. Someone that can't even put a roof over you on your daughter's head. Um, How do you guys even survive? Well, things are not so rosy now. Mm. But we have a plan for our future and we are working on it. Mm. <laughs> My dear, enough of those stories. Those stories, you know, they, you know, they rain again. That is motivational speakers. <laughs> we are talking of the real deal, real life. Hmm? Like I even ask you, talking about your future, any plan for the future? Is it um, 
this plantain chips you're hawking by the roadside. <sighs> I'm wondering, I don't know. I don't know the plan you have for your future anyway. What do you think Joshua even do, sir? What do you do? That's my hobby. It's calling. You know, <laughs> he calls me very often. I should be on my way. It's so good meeting you. Again, baby girl. Alright, my little darling. Take care of yourself, okay? See you some other time. Let me rush and meet my husband. Thanks for dropping I us. do not joke with him. Alright, take care, darling. <sighs> <laughs> What's now? Mommy, who's that? Hey, the nice. That's an old friend from school. Why does she hate my daddy? Uh, uh, Anna. Hate is a very strong word. I told you. She doesn't hate your daddy. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, I think she does. Hey, <laughs> behave yourself. Please, would you take this to this side? You've started. <laughs> What did you call her this one? What's happening to she has a name? Alright, sugar. <laughs> you know I'd love that, right? I love you the most. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that would be lovely. You sure know my favorite all the time. Okay, you know what? I'm going to see you much later. Mm -hmm. Love you too. <laughs> oh. Oh. So he later married her. And this is the shrink she's believing. <laughs> Come on, Joshua. I want to have a long time with you. What do you think? Hmm. Look, Joshua. I can do whatever I want to do. I don't owe Grace anything, okay? Why? See this one. I bet my friend shift that from my phone. Find you like me said, go. I'm coming after you and you're there for me, rubbish. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Just keep your hands to yourself, I beg. Because I even asked you. Asked you out. Look at, look at who's talking. I ain't finer than the guys that asked me out in campus. Huh. <laughs> he even called me pathetic. And I was giving myself unnecessary headache because he chose Grace over me. <laughs> now look at where they live. Look at where they ended up. <laughs> I'm even sure they can't even afford three square meals. What am I even saying? Two square meals. Hmm. <sighs> I will make sure I destroy Joshua's relationship with Grace. <sighs> Life is so beautiful. So, how was work today? It was okay. How about yours? Mm. Not so bad. <laughs> Even though we didn't make enough sales today, but we shall sell something. Oh, and tomorrow will be better. Amen to that. <clears throat> hmm. 
Guess who I don't need to play? No, I don't like this one. Who? <laughs> Freda. <laughs> mm, Freda. Freda. Freda from school? Mm-hmm. That one. Mm. Hmm. You should have seen her. She looks so good. She's mm. married to a rich man. Very rich. Mm. Mm. I'm happy for her. It's good. Good to know. Adi, you should have seen the way she was talking. I think she hates you. Hey! Language. Um, why would you say a thing like that? Daddy. She I think you should focus on your food, okay? What did I tell you about eating and talking? The food might go the wrong way. And there's pepper in this meal. Hey, I saw that. What, what did you say? To be continued, look. I no, 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 nothing like that. No. <laughs> Well, this is really good. I know you tried many things, doesn't mean that if you try once again, you wouldn't win. Oh, life is unpredictable. So, oh, cherish every effort and despise your beginning. If you sleep and wake up, just keep your hopes still flaming. Cause life. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Hey. Why don't you just leave this and do it tomorrow at the office? Okay. Do you miss me? Of course, you know I do. You miss me? Yes. So, baby. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what about the money you promised to give me for my toiletry shopping? How much do you need? Yes, one million will be okay for that. I'll send it to you first and tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're just the best. <laughs> you know I'll do everything to please you. Right. Mm -hmm. So, talking about being happy, mm -hmm. I don't suggest allow me to take care of you. <sighs> I talked her in. She's sleeping already. She told me Frida said my best wasn't good enough. Anna. Ah, she can't talk. I wonder where she got it from. Is it true? Of course not. Why did you bring her to the house? I didn't. She insisted we invite her in since she dropped us. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. So I just let her in. But don't worry. She won't come back anytime soon. I'm sure after today, she's never going to come back. I hope so. She won't. Ah. So, honey, what about the loan that you're pursuing for 
the startup of our business. Any luck? I'll be meeting with the bank manager tomorrow. And hopefully if everything goes well, you should be able to start the business soon. Everything will go well. Pray it works. Just don't sit down here alone. It's dark. Let's go in and see. Okay. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Anna! Anna, hurry up, let's go. We're running late. Where is the trail? Hurry up. Let's find out what she did. Hey! Hi! You going out? Yes. Um, we're already going to the market. Just give me a second. Oops! Oh, yeah! So girls, how are you doing? Um, like I said, we're already heading <sighs> to the market for our sales. Today's sales. So you just want to go under the sun and fry this your skin? Huh? And waste this your beauty? You shall like so far. Um, to what do I owe these visits, Frida? Uh, can you just give me some moments? Hmm? We are already running late. Oh, please, I'm not going to take too much of your time. As you can see, my hands are full. Hmm? Okay, let's go. We shall. Oops. Ah. Frida. Hmm? This... Ah. Um, oh. We actually need his. Oh. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm not going to waste so much of your time. I just want you to help me select the best among those collections, okay? Wait, did you leave your house to mine just so that I could help you pick your dress? Oh, Grace, you are the fashion girl back then in school and I value your sense of fashion judgment. You just don't have a way of making the wrong choice. You don't make a mistake in that, except um, for marriage, you know? I don't know why you really, really made a very big mistake in choosing a man for yourself. A man that can't take care of you and your daughter. So tell me, how do you see this? It's beautiful. Is it beautiful? Yes. Very beautiful. <laughs> do you know how much this costs? Um, can I just you have no idea. Pick no. The dress so All right. All right. All right. And see this one. Oh, look at this one. There are still some of them in there, but just make a choice for me. Which one do you like? Um, this one is okay. This one? Yes. You prefer this? Mm. This is your favorite? Yes. <gasps> this is getting you how scenes. Your sense of fashion is still there, oh. apart from, you know, <clears throat> your skin. Oh my god, do you know this is actually my favorite too? I love this dress. And this is the most expensive of them all. It cost me a lot. Now I get the stone. Um, I helped you choose a dress. I think we have to be on now, our oh. because we are running late. You're the reason we're still here. I'm sorry, just calm down. I've not, not, not selected the shoes. Hmm? 
Just relax. Look, I might even dash you one of them. Okay? <laughs> I, need to, you I need to fit you. you. Thank you. Can I just help you? All right. <sighs> the show. Oh, here we go. Oh. Look at this. Do you like this? <laughs> just make a choice for me. You know how much this should cost me. Please, can we go? Oh, okay. Um, um, tell me now, which one should I wear? You know, I'm supposed to go for a party and I need to look very elegant and gorgeous. This one is okay. This one? Ah, ah, Grace! You still haven't changed. The only thing that changed about it is just your, you know, your skin and all your dress. But you see, your fashion sense hasn't changed. Can we go? We are running late for our daily sales. Oh, oh sorry, just calm down now. Babe, you're not quarreling. And I don't chop. Yes, we have eaten. Oh, Grace. It's me, you. Don't start forming for me. It's me, Frida. If you have not eaten, tell me. I'm willing and ready to get you food we for have you and your daughter. this morning. Thank you for asking. Eh. Waiting at chop. Food. Food. <laughs> what kind of food? Can we go on with it so that we can actually be on our way? I'm just showing concern. I'm showing concern. I'm a good friend. Can't you see it? Okay, so um, there's something I want to tell you too. Okay. Um, honey bunny, please can you excuse us for a while? Oh. I need to tell mommy something very important. Good girl. You trained her Mommy, well. Okay. okay, just a minute, okay? What is it? Ah, Grace! This is what I was trying to say. Look at you. You're still a beautiful girl. Huh? You said die. Look at your breasts. Ah, ah, still standing. Ah, ah, ah. Look at the hips. See the shape. Babe, you still said die. What are you saying? See, any man would die to have this body all to himself. So what I'm trying to say is, why waste your time on a man that cannot take care of you and your daughter when you have all these assets to make the money? A man that can, you know, all those men that can treat you well, make this body polish, make the skin glow, change this, you know, rag. This house. Okay, that's it. Um, oh, yes, that's it. I want you to think about it. Anna! I'm sorry, I have to go. Anna! Uh, <clears throat> let's go. So, what about the. Okay, I've told you about the shoes, the bags. What about the bags? It's fine. Oh, Just it's fine, fine, right? At least you helped me now. Ah. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> ah. This. Oh. Let's just go like that. Easy. Ah. Oh. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, I'm running late. Wait, stop there. Let's give her her stuff. This way. Yeah. We have to run now. Hey, are you sure you don't want me to drop you at the bus stop? No, you don't have to. Thank you so much. <sighs> Look, Grace. You don't have to settle for this misery. You really don't have to. You see, this dress that you said is your favorite. It cost me 45,000 naira. And the shoe, just one of it, cost me 75,000. All this and more can be yours if only you desire it. Very simple. I can introduce you to um, some person. Thank you very much. We have to go now. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Mm. Left all these things for me. These people don't even have respect. Hey, and that little girl. Life oh, hey, it's ego. It's so beautiful. These poor people they just have unnecessary Life kind of life. I don't it's huh? unpredictable. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. It's so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing
not in today, you might have tomorrow's life. It's unpredictable. Cherish every moment while facing all your torment. People and their comments try to conquer all your challenge. After the rain, the sun will shine. After the storm, peace will restore. Cause life. It's so beautiful. so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing today You might have tomorrow Life It's so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing today You might have tomorrow's life Unpredictable. I know you tried many things, doesn't mean that if you try once again, you wouldn't win. Oh, life is unpredictable. So, oh, cherish every effort and despise your beginning. If you sleep and wake up, just keep your hopes deflaming. Cause life. It's so beautiful. so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing today You might have tomorrow Life, oh, life. It's so beautiful. so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing today You might have tomorrow Life Unpredictable I say this one, don't come. Oh, I go clear with you and the top. Come, come here. Mama Anna. Yes, who's there? Ah. Which apple? Okay. I'm going to come here. She did? Oh, you come here. Mm. What did he say? He say, make on a try. The money on the whole one. You and your husband, wanna try pay. For the past six months now. Uh -uh. Yeah. Thank you for the message. I beg, wanna try pay this money. So that you know we can't embarrass everybody for this compound. What is happening now? I don't hear. They go. So, you know, I just say, make they go. I don't hear. So, no, it's okay. No, no, I'll go. They go my way. Busy body. Came to I was going to tell you after dinner. What did he say? He didn't meet us. We hid. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, that's because we know we didn't have his money, so there was no point meeting him. We've been hiding from him for months now. The day he would find. 
finally made Laura's at home. I'm sure he wouldn't have any excuses. Well, let's just hope that the day he will finally meet us at home, he would have his money ready. Okay? Speaking of money, have a, what's up with the loan? Any luck? Let's talk after dinner. They refused to give you the loan? Yeah. They didn't meet the requirements. Um, I'm supposed to have a solid collateral, they say. You know, but yeah, it's not what we have right now. We really needed that loan. Really badly. I mean, we're supposed to help with the rent, pay off everybody we're owing, start up our dream business and you know, just get our lives back on track. How, how are we supposed to do that? It's okay. Okay? Don't be discouraged. We have other banks. We can try out. Who knows? You know, my grant was the loan and we will use it to pay the rent and every other person we are owing. we we'll also start a new business. Hmm? Well, so much. We owe so much. We owe so, so many people. I mean, we can't walk past this neighborhood without someone, you know, talking about us not being able to eat if we don't borrow money. And so, hmm? even though, please stop listening to rumors. Don't let what people say bother you. I don't know you to be someone who. Let's what other people are saying, people's opinion get to your head. You don't have to let that bother you at all. They can say whatever they want to say. After all, are we the first people to buy things on credit? People do it once in a while, even they're rich. So they can say anything they want to say. We don't care. How are we going to pay off all our debts now? How? For now, I don't know. Let's just hope on God, okay? <laughs> hope on God. <laughs> what is that for? Do you have someone somewhere that is going to help us out of this situation? Of course not. Then yeah. Why not put our hopes in God? Only He can take care of us and give us a better solution to this problem we're having. Okay? Yeah. Looking back now, I, I, I wish I didn't invest in that business that took everything from me. I wish I didn't trust those criminals that I called my cousins. They took everything I did. Just... It's okay, it's okay. What's the point on dwelling in the past? Why are you focusing on your past mistakes? I'm sure you have learned from it. We don't have to use the energy we have on worrying about what happened in the past that we can't change. We should rather use this energy and focus on how we can get this loan, pay our rents, pay our, our debts and start our new business. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for standing by me. I know it's tough. But thank you. Why are you thanking me? My husband, we are in this together. Isn't that what marriage is all about? Hmm? And what did the vow say? For better and for worse. Marriage is not only about the good parts or the good times. Okay? It's also about the good, the ugly, and the bad. So we're going to get through this together as a family. Okay? It's okay. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, why do you always like staying in darkness? Let's <laughs> go.
Hey, are you going out? We always go out to sell every day, Feda. Grace, you texted me and you're going out. Well, you didn't um, respond to the text message, so I assume you didn't get it. Okay, now I am here. Can we go inside? Can we go inside? Okay. So, I got this. Mm, this is for you, Grace. Have it. Thank you. And this is for you, Anna. <laughs> what a well mannered girl. She even had to ask for your permission before collecting food from me. <laughs> You really trained her well. Thank you. <laughs> she seemed bright, so tell me, which school is she attending? She's on schooling for now. <laughs> Homeschooling? <sighs> you don't see. Why? <sighs> don't tell me that Joshua cannot take his only child to school. Babe, I don't understand. When I come they bomb bomb, when I no say, you know, they capable to take care of a child. Can we, can we not have this conversation here? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I got carried away. I got carried away with this mess that you're in. Come back, Grace. Anyway, you can, you can have your food. It's. That is some um, ice cream, Anna. I am very sure that you've not had ice cream before. I'm sure you will love it. Just give it a try. <laughs> what? Are you okay? I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? Why? What, what did you eat this morning? Food. Um, <clears throat> Anna, it's fine. If you've had food, it's very fine. But, you know, you have to keep the food and eat it later. But as for the ice cream, baby girl, you need to take it before it gets melted. You know, your parents don't have fridge in the house. Can we talk outside, please? Sure. I have the ice cream, okay? What is the problem? Hmm? What exactly do you want from my family? Excuse you. Excuse you? You come here all the time, showing off your wealth in front of my child and I, just because we don't have. I hope you know that no one knows tomorrow. Hey, come on. Can you just calm down? Look, I mean no harm, okay? You're getting things the wrong way. I'm just being concerned about your welfare and that of your daughter. Can't you see it? Grace, look at you. Just take a good look at yourself. Huh? You're not the Grace I used to know back then in school. You used to be this beautiful, intelligent, you know, full of life young lady. Ever since you got married to that guy, Joshua, you've just been a shadow of yourself. Ida, enough, okay? Stop it already. You have made your point. Well, did you 
Did you get my text? Oh, your text. Of course I did. So, um, I was just wondering since since you said you're concerned about our welfare, you should know that Joshua and I have been trying to get a loan from the bank, but we don't have the requirements for a loan. Oh. Neither do we have any collateral. Of course not. We want to use the money to start up a business for ourselves. I'm just I'm saying if if you don't mind, could you please loan us the money? Once we start our business and it starts to yield profits, we'll pay you back. Oh. So, how much are you talking about here? Uh, oh. One million naira. One million naira. Just one million naira. And your children. <gasps> you see what I'm talking about? <sighs> anyway, I. I'll think about it and get back to you. That is not a problem. One million naira, isn't it? Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And please, I'm just pleading. Can you stop talking down on my husband in front of my child? She's beginning to think you hate her father. Oh. Okay. I promise I'm not going to do that again. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I should be on my way. I just stopped by to get some food and water for you and your daughter so you don't starve we are not starving <laughs> grace you cannot change even if you're starving are you going to tell me you have this you know, pride ha huh? you shall be coming down okay anyways don't worry i will talk to you later okay right. see you some other time thanks for the food eat the food though don't starve you're not starving and i like you <laughs> Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear from you. All right, no problem. Hi. Take care. Thank you. Say me hi to your daughter. Yeah, sure. Life is so beautiful. Anna said she bought food for both of you and mocked you indirectly. Anna said that. Yes, she did. She didn't mock us. Ignore Anna, okay? <laughs> Why would she insinuate that Anna has never seen ice cream before? Unless she's sure she's never had it. If that is not mockery, then what is? <laughs> and when you told her Anna has been homeschooled, she mocked me. <laughs> that I'm not meeting up with my responsibilities. Look, I'm not happy about this. I know things are not good, but her coming over here, insulting me and my family in the presence of my daughter, I will not have it. It has to stop. I'm going for a walk. Joshua. It's so beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life, oh, life. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life, life. It's unpredictable. I know you tried many things, doesn't mean that if you try once again, you wouldn't win. Oh, life is so I need some money. Good morning. Nice to buy some stuff. What stuff? Lady stuff. How much do you need? 500,000 is okay. Okay. I'll send it to you once I just step out now. <laughs> okay? Thank you, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> you help me with my back. Sure. All right, then. Ah, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fabulous. 
As you can see. <laughs> Good to see you. Concerning the loan you requested for yesterday, I had a discussion with my accountant and we checked. Most of the investments I pumped money into haven't matured. So, sadly, I will not be able to help you with the loan. <laughs> but there is always a way out. Uh -huh. I mentioned you to one of my husband's rich friends and he requested to see you. See me? Uh-huh. Why? What do you mean by why? Come on, don't you know? I don't. Okay, fine. Since you insist, let me just let you know this. He wants to help you with the loan. In fact, he wants to help you with the money. All you need to do is just, you know, scratch his back while he scratches yours. Excuse me? Grace, you need the money, don't you? So? Then do anything you have to do to get it. This man wants to give you this money for free, not a loan. All you just have to do is just spend the night with him, that's all. Are you in any way suggesting I sleep with another man? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Sleep with another man as though you have a man in your life. I right? have a man. I have a husband. I am happily married. And you are aware of it. <laughs> oh, Grace, don't you think it's too early to make me laugh? <laughs> Can you just stop it? Stop being funny. So you call smiling and suffering happy. Huh? This boy that you're living with cannot even provide for you and your daughter. You are there hustling up and down. They suffer. They look for loan. Are you supposed to be the one doing it? Not be mad supposed to take all this responsibility. Hey, Grace. Ha. Be like say suffer, not tire you. Oh, Freda. Mm. Thank you. Excuse me. Grace. Grace. Look at this girl. Anyways, you will come and look for me. And by that time, I will be so obliged to scatter your relationship with that stupid guy called Joshua. Nonsense. Hello? Sweetheart. Yeah, um, concerning the loan I asked you about, Hello, babe. You need another money? Yes, baby. I just sent you 500,000 that you wanted for your lady's stores. The money wasn't enough for the things I wanted. How much do you want now? Another 500 to make it a million. A million? For lady's stores? <laughs> what lady's stores are you buying? Abi, you want to set up a business? A business? No way. Why no way? Okay. I'll transfer it now after this call. I'll transfer it now to you. Thank you, baby. All right. I love you so much. Love you too. And that's the problem. Excuse you. You love her more. That's why you can't see her for who she really is. Man, mind your words, cause that's my wife you're talking about. And you think you have a wife in that woman? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ross. Let me ask you, why is she not working? Because she doesn't want to work. And you are okay with it? Yes. I mean, you are yes. okay with your wife not working, only asking money, asking for money to spend. Wait, 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 wait. I'm working. And I know I'm capable of taking care of both of us. So what's the big deal there? Uh, bros, I will tell you, open your eyes. Open your <sighs> eyes. It's you that should mind your business. You should mind your business and leave my wife alone. Leave my wife alone. Fine. What? Fine. I'm ah. not. Bye. Don't forget. Just, 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 just 
Don't time. worry. Mind your business. Grace, who did this house? <sighs> Mama yo. Oh, I just said I don't go come back today. Good day, Mama yo. I don't need your greeting. Where my money will not owe me for food stuff, you and your husband. Grace, where my money? <laughs> Mama, yo, please, can we talk inside? Hey, can we talk inside? Oh, you know what, I me, mean? your compound people you know, say you they owe me 4,500. Where you and your husband can use collect food stuff for my shop since three months now, and no one pay me. We go pay you. You know, we go, we not go pay me. Now, wait till you don't they talk since three months now. She, she, one night I never see. Grace, give me my money. I don't have the money now, but I can assure you. Uh, eh, eh, you see that assurance? I don't need that. I don't need that, your assurance. Give me my money, make I work out, they go my house. You see me? I'm a very peaceful person. I don't like trouble. Give me my money. I be, you know, I run my business now. Which kind of wala be this one now? I do bad things, sell you food for credit. No. Then give me my money. I be, you won't send me go village. God forbid. Oh, God forbid. See, if you now not give me my money today, you, you and your husband are going to sleep for police station eh? this night. This night, you are going to give me. That's not got into that. Okay. I, I just they look you. Give me my money. Me. Since, since three months now. Uh -uh. Which kind of hand be this one? Person go keep quiet. You go be like, say, we don't know what they do. Grace, this, this is all that I've sold today. Just manage it. I will give you the complete one in a few days. Ma, this money never complete now, eh? This thing now just three thousand naira a day here. But you know what? <laughs> Voila. Hmm? This one better. See, eh? I will come back here next week. If I come here, I never complete my one thousand naira. You see that one thousand? Me and I go use and pull it for one trouser. Nonsense. Be useless people. So babe, uh -huh. I was thinking, since you're not practicing what you studied, why not start a business? A business? Yes. Babe, are you broke? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at all, I'm not broke. <sighs> so why do you want me to work? <laughs> I'm just, I was just thinking. Since you're not doing anything, you want to have a business of your own. Something to call your own. Look, babe. Yes? I, I don't need to work when I have you here. Besides, what is yours is mine, isn't it? Sure. But... Babe, I can't just deal with the whole stress. I can't. But you could just put someone there to manage the business while you supervise. Are you tired of taking care of me? Look, babe, it's fine. I'm not tired of taking care of you. If you don't want to work, it's fine. Are you sure? That's why you're pressurizing me to work. I don't understand. Babe, it's fine. I'm not tired of taking care of you. And if you don't want to work, it's okay. Right? It's okay. <laughs> That's right. I love you. It's okay. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Life is so beautiful. Life is unpredictable. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life is so beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow's life. It's unpredictable. Every moment, by facing all your torment, 
people and their comments Try conquer all your challenge I'll find the rain, the sun will shine After the storm, peace will restore Cause life is so beautiful You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow Anna, I'm watching for you, let's... What are you doing here? Hello, my favorite people. What are you doing here? Can we talk? Please, um, go ahead. I'm, I'm on my way out. <clears throat> Look, I didn't like the way we ended our conversation yesterday. So, I came to apologize if what I said to you got you upset. I'm not angry. It's fine. Look, Grace, we have come a long way to be fighting like this. Besides, I was just trying to help. I said I'm not angry, okay? Oh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Good. Good because I have got a better deal for you. Okay. Uh -huh. Can we at least talk in the car? Oh, and I'll just give us a minute, okay? I can understand why you upset me about the discussion I had with you yesterday. But if I were in your shoes, there are so many things I would consider. Things like... Things like, my daughter needs to go to school. I need money for that. I need to raise money for a business. You see? Are we really on this? Are we still on this matter? Before you snap, Grace. Grace, I wanted you to understand that I care so much about you. I hate to see you suffer like this. And that is why I spoke to one of my rich friends. Look, he's very rich and... Seriously? Yeah. I understand your fears. He doesn't stay anywhere close. Just in case you think your husband is going to find out that you slept with a man I'm to raise not the money. sleeping with anyone. He's very rich enough. And he's willing to give you two million naira for free. Only if you just spend some time with him. For free? Yeah, if it's for free. Why then is he demanding I spend time with him? Babe, just to open your legs and close it. <laughs> Isn't that free? Come on, B, we're talking about two million naira. And I know you're smarter than this. There are so many things you can do with two million naira. Look at you. Look at your hair. This hair looks like one that hasn't even gone to the salon for quite a long time. You need to touch your hair. You need to, you know, get a nice moisturizer for your skin. Ah, start a very good business. Take your child to school. Take care of your husband. Are you done? I would like to go on with my child. Baby, you should just know that I care so much about you. I'm not a bad friend, though. I'm just trying to help. Thank you very much. 
cherish every moment. Joshua! Is it not Joshua? Mm. Joshua! That's Joshua. Joshua! That's you, Joshua. Frida. Joshua. Frida, what are you what are you doing here? This is my house. You're right in front of my house. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, it's good and to know. And you, what are you doing here? Working. Working? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Please remind me, what kind of work is it again? Um, uh... <gasps> <laughs> Forgive me, Joshua. Joshua, you, you, you're driving a tricycle? Keke. Yes. You are a keke driver. Yes, Frida. <gasps> Just right. I thought you studied economics back then in school. Why are you not practicing? Um, look, uh, Frida, we'll have to talk some other time, okay? I need to hurry and get back to work. Oh, right. <laughs> really? Okay, um, say me hi to Grace, your wife. <laughs> it can't start. Do you, do you need fuel? Will you? Are you ready? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Hey. That sounds like Mama Nina. Hey, don't have them. Ah! Um. Grace. Mama Nina, good morning. What's good about the morning? Hmm? Anyways, I heard that you people are paying the people you are owing money, so I've come to collect the one you and your husband is owing. Oh. Madam, about the money. Eh, eh. Joshua, I don't want any excuses to avoid problem. Just go inside, get my money, and bring it. Oh. Madam, we, we don't have the money right now. She do another try, please. You have tried, honestly. I don't know why you want me to make trouble with you and your husband before you pull will pay me my money. My money has been in your hand for the past five months. You say if you be a businesswoman, check him. If person owe your money for that long, you go happy? It depends. You know how many interest I could not make with that money a day in your hand? I beg you with God, Grace, pay me my money. But we don't have it at the moment. Maybe like say I just speak Japanese for that. Um, Mama Mina, no, please, wait. Mama Mina, please, please. wait. <laughs> Mama Mina, <laughs> see, you people should give me my money. Or oh, I'm taking anything valuable in this house. Uh, please, now, nah, Mama Mina. Chris, Joshua, give me the money I owe you for the past five months. Mama, please calm down, okay? Just calm down. We can sort this out, please. <laughs> You have 24 hours, eh? 
Or I'm selling this thing and exchanging it for the money people are owing me. The TV is even bad, so I'm sure she will return it soon. Since the traditional marriage day. No, babe, you're not going to sell your valuable materials for us to clear out No, you can't do that. But you need money, Joshua. I know, and I'll sort it out. You, you, you just can't sell, sell it. I mean, this jewelry is the only memory of your late mother you have. How have you sell it? No. I'll, I'll, I'll get the money. But the sale of the jewelry will be enough for the loan and even the rent. No, but you can't sell it. I will get the money, okay? How? I'll, I'll do something. I'll, I'll, I'll go out now and, and, and do a job. I'll, I'll borrow. I'll even borrow. But no, you can't sell this, babe. You can't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll do something. No, it's not going. Hope he's okay. Ah. Hey. Ah. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Where is your phone? Oh, um. I'm my, calling. My battery ran out. I'm sorry. Okay. I was so worried. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm fine. Um, did she return the TV? Yes, she did. But I paid her already. don't understand that. How? I did some work at the bakery. Bakery? Yes, a friend of mine works there. So she called me and said that they needed more workers. So I applied and they hired me immediately. And somehow they managed to pay you on the same day? Well, I... I, I explained to the manager, I told her about the situation we are having. So she trusted me and paid me half of the payment. Okay, all right. Yeah. But um, I don't know, how are you going to cope with it and your business? Well, that was why I took only the morning shift. So I would leave very early in the morning, get to work and finish up before 9 a.m. And then I'll come back and get ready for the sales. Don't worry, it's going to be temporary. Are you sure you can cope with the stress? Sure. It's, it's just for the meantime. Okay. How about um, Anna? Have you guys had dinner? I brought the car and break. We've eaten and she's sleeping already. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I'm so worried. It's, all right. it's, all right. mm -hmm. it's okay. Alright, let's just go in, okay? Mm. What is she doing here this early morning? What does she want?
Boris? Yeah. Are you sneaking on me? Frida, I, I didn't see you. Even my car wasn't obvious enough. Sorry, I, my mind wasn't there. What are you doing here so early in the morning? <sighs> Grace, we need to talk. Look, I'm not going to take so much of your time. I promise. Okay. Are you, are you okay? Have you slept? Because your eyes don't look like one who has been sleeping for days. Oh, yes, I've been sleeping. Thank are you. you. Sure? Are you sure? Are yes. you okay? I'm fine. Ah, ah. Look at you. He? You don't age you. See, see how you're looking. See your face. Ah, ah. See body. See wrinkle. Hey, poverty is not good at all. Why are you here? Did you come here to insult me as always? What body cream are you using now? Did you leave your house to come here to find out about my cream? Um, well, I know you don't want to hear this. If you know I don't want to hear it, why don't you want to tell me? Because you need to hear it regardless. What is it? My husband's oh, friend. Oh, here we go again. Can you just allow me land? Okay, so this is my husband's very good friend. He lives abroad, though so he comes back most times. So I was having a conversation with him and I showed him a picture. Yes, and ever since then, he has not stopped thinking about how beautiful you are. Yes, so I seized the opportunity to tell him about oh, the condition of you and your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he promised to help with the sum of 5 million naira. What? Oh, yes. 5 million naira. In exchange for my body, I guess. Just one night, babe. One night, and he's going to give you 5 million naira in your account, straight up. I'm not interested. <laughs> well, Babe, look, you can't be telling me this, right? We're talking of five million naira here. Anyway, I'm not expecting you to give me an urgent answer. Just think about it. There's okay? nothing to think about. I'm not interested, that's all. Look, I, I totally understand how you feel. I am a married woman too, so... I do understand you. If you understand, why do you keep bringing this deal to me? because I just I just want to give you this opportunity that will change your life. By sleeping with someone else? That's the opportunity that will change my life? Babe, do you know how many married women out there that sleep around just to put food on their tables? No, you don't. And here you are, being offered five million naira for just one night, and you're contemplating. I am not contemplating. I am rejecting it. I think you should think about Anna's education and well-being before rejecting this golden offer. Are you done? Grace. Look. I don't want you to miss this golden opportunity. This opportunity is a blessing. If you miss this, your daughter will never forgive you. Do you want Anna to grow up as an illiterate just because you missed this golden opportunity? Babe, think about it. You need to be elevated. We are talking of five million naira here. Think about it. Okay? I understand how you feel. But I don't want you to miss this golden opportunity. I'll be off. I give you just 24 hours to just think about it and get back to me. Okay? You know I care. Five million naira. Beautiful life is so 
unpredictable. Now, landlord, please don't do this now. Please, I, I beg you in the name of God, please. You see what? I am tired of you and your wife lies. You know what? I'm coming here to pack all your things so you can leave my house. Oh, oh Galano, no, no, please. please. Don't, don't. Beg you, just give us a little time. We at least... A little what? Please. Boys. Sir. Oh, yeah. Pack everything and come outside. These broke people. Carry your property and go to your village. Okay. Okay. Don't this. This is, this is very embarrassing. No, you People don't know. Some more 10,000 naira you cannot pay. You are saying it's embarrassing. Can you have go, 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 just, go, 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 Just a little more time. Time. So it becomes 10 years. Please, consider our child. Your child? We don't have anywhere else to go. Please. Are you done? Yeah. Just the mattress and the... <laughs> very yeah. good. Very good. That's my money. Well, that's our property. Yeah, yeah. she, this she, our, she, our, she, our she, personal she, property. She, she, property. Lalo, you can't do this. I, I wish you have personal property. Go to your village. Carry your poverty Lalo, and go to your village. Is, this is not yes. Please now. Please. Lalo, please. Lalo. What's that necessary? If I, if I come here and you worry. You know what you have today. Might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today. I suggest we go to grandma's place. So we'll stay there for a while until we figure out what to do next. No. no. Can't do that. Someone is to inconvenience them. But we can't sleep in the streets. We need a roof over our heads. I know, I'm just... Um, I know, I know. It's just, um, let me think. This is our only option. Okay, this is not the right time for pride or ego. We have to go. Yeah, just give me a moment. Let's... Let me think. Wake up, just keep your host flaming. Cause life is so beautiful. So beautiful. You know. What you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might Let's have come tomorrow. In. Life is so beautiful. Why did you call me on time? Good evening, ma. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Everything will be fine, okay? Cheer up, cheer up, and stop crying. Stop crying, okay? The two of you will get through this. It will only take a while, but everything will be fine. Okay? Thank so you. wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Eh? It's well. It's okay. Take your bag. Take your bag to the room. <laughs> called by now. I thought she must have called me. <sighs> She's not even answering my call. Let me try again. She's not still picking. Ah. Okay, I'll see her tomorrow morning.
Ugh. Why is she bombarding me with calls? What does she want? Hello? Hi. You finally answered. What do you want, Frida? I went to your house this morning to check up on you, and I was told what happened. We are fine. Are you sure? I'm sure we are okay, Frida. Well, I didn't hear from you concerning our last conversation. I don't do that. Sorry. What has this guy Joshua done to you? Tell me. What do you mean? What? Don't you ever call my husband deadbeat again. Are you insane? I have been keeping quiet while you open your dirty mouth to say rubbish and stupid things about me and my family. And it has gotten to the point where you call me on the phone to insult my husband just because you think you're better than us. Frida, now listen. I have told you so many times that I'm not interested in sleeping with your husband's friends. You know why? I love my husband so much and I can never bring myself to cheating on him. I will never break my wedding vows just because of money. I will not do that. I'd rather hawk, scrub the toilet with my bare hands than to do that to my husband. Get that into your thick stupid skull and don't ever call this number again. Stupid. Welcome. Are you okay? Yes. I heard you. How much did you hear? Everything. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want to bother you with her nonsense. Babe, babe, wait. Who is this person knocking at the gate like a madman? You, what is wrong with you? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, excuse me? What is your problem? Why are you trying to get my wife to sleep with your husband's friend in exchange for money? What is wrong with you? Oh, that. She told you. Oh, yes, she did. You, you thought she wouldn't. She's even more stupid than I thought. Oh, no. The only stupid person I see is you. What is wrong with you? Get over yourself. I rejected you and I chose her. Live with it! Joshua, you did me and yourself a very big favor because I wouldn't have lasted two days with your broke and stinking ass. Say whatever pleases you. Whatever makes you lay well at night, okay? But what I cannot understand is why a married woman goes about parading herself trying to get other married women to sleep with her husband's friends. Have you got no single shame in you? You are the one that is supposed to be ashamed of yourself for not being able to take care of your family. Imagine, come on, 10,000 naira rent you can't even afford. Your daughter is homeschooling simply because you cannot even pay for her fee. And you call yourself a, a husband and a father. Huh? Huh. You're so pathetic. Right now you disgust me. You had better take your smelly slippers and your cheap self out of my house before I call the police right now to arrest you. Get out, Jerry! You know why, pity? The man we married. Oh, I pity him so much because you are a disgrace to womanhood. Don't, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't you, don't Just you dare! Get your filthy hands off me. No sense. Look, stay away from my family. Stay away from my wife. The next time you bring such a proposition to her, 
to go and sleep with whatever I'll do such nonsense. I will find you and I will destroy you with my bare hands and face the consequences. Why don't you just get out of here and get out? <sighs> nonsense. <laughs> you should know me now. You know I don't wear anything that is not designer. Mm -hmm. And you know my husband is very wealthy and he pays all my bills. So um, I need that latest bag, the designer one. Exactly. Then there's this very shoe, the latest designer shoe. Yes, 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 that one. Exactly. Get that one for me too. And um, I would need an original human hair. Born straight. Born straight. Just send that across and send your bill. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, I'll call you back later. Hello, honey. You're back. Are you okay? You don't look alright. I lost everything. What? I lost all our money. You, you lost what? <sighs> Honey, come on. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by lost all our money. A friend of mine introduced me to a business okay. I thought was profitable. So I invested everything. I just found out now that I was a fraudulent one. I lost you're, everything. You're joking. <laughs> you're joking, right? Honey, honey, you're, tell me you're joking. Men and why are they taking our cars away? The men outside? Yes. I took some loan from them to invest in the business that just collapsed. <gasps> Calm down. So they came to take the cars in exchange for their money. Our two cars? Yes. I also took a loan from the bank. They will soon ask us to vacate these premises. What? <sighs> Honey, please tell me. You are joking, please. No, I'm not joking. I told you I invested into the business. I need to take this call. It's the bank, sorry. Hello? You're joking, right? Yes, sir. You're joking? Okay. <sighs> so, what I wanted to discuss with you is... I've been saving some money for a rainy day. It was supposed to be for the rent and to also pay off the, the debts we're owing. But since we got kicked out, I feel like we should use the money for something else. Okay, here's my suggestion. Since I'm very good with cooking, I, I'm suggesting that we use the money and start a small food business and see you know, where it will lead. Maybe we can cook some samples and take to banks. The proposal to always bring lunch for them so we can relieve them of the stress of having to leave their duty post to buy food somewhere else. What do you think? I actually think it's an idea. It's a very good one. Um, okay. uh, how much do you have? I have 55,000 naira. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. You know what you had today. Okay. You might lose you totally do it. You should? Yes. Okay, great. Fine. So all we need to do is go to the market, buy a few food stuff and start from there. We can work on the proposal much later. Okay. Alright. You might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today. You might have tomorrow. It's unpredictable. Cherish every moment while facing all your torment. People and their comments try conquer all your challenge. 
After the rain, the sun will shine. We want to go to the market now, Mama. I overheard you and your husband discussing it about the business. Oh. So don't worry. Hmm? I will watch Anna. So you both can go out and get what you will need for the sample. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. You'll be a good girl, okay? I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, we'll be on our way. We won't stay too long. All right. Take good care of yourself, okay? Thank you, Mama. Bye, bye, baby. Bye, baby. I love you. Love you. Babe, hey, we need to talk. How bad is it? The bank is giving us three weeks to vacate these premises. What? Three weeks? Yes, <sighs> We need to raise money and get a small apartment for a deadline. How are you even going to raise money to get another apartment? How? I was hoping if you could help sell some of your clothes, shoes, or jewelry to help raise the money. Shotia, yeah, we really. This thing has affected your brain, no? Oh? How can you even suggest a thing like that? You are you insane? You barely even have enough time to wear these clothes and shoes. Hey. Hey. Mm. If you think I'm going to sell any of my belongings, then you are wrong. I am not doing any of this for you. No, no, no. You're not doing it for me. It's for us. I live here with you. I am not selling my belongings, so I am not. Babe, we need this money. Then bring the money. How? How? I don't know. You are the man of the house. Just figure something out. What are you saying? If you honestly think that I am going to sell any of my belongings to save your horrible mistake, then you are being delusional. Do you get? Delusional? Me? When you were getting money and buying this stuff, it was never a problem. Hey. Just to salvage the situation. You are ranting. I am done talking about this. Do you understand? I am done. Do you hear me? What a useless suggestion is this? What have I even gotten myself into, Frida? Oh. Oh, save me from this mess. This can be try once again, you wouldn't win. Oh, life is unpredictable. You are my wife. And what is mine is yours, remember? But that doesn't include your problem. My problem? Mm hmm. See, Ken, I'm not the one that sent you to go and blindly and foolishly invest your money into a business that cannot even yield any positive results. Look, I made a mistake. I know we can still fix it. Right now, all I need you to do is just sell some of your jewelry so that we can get an, a small apartment or something. I have told you this before, Ken. I am not going to sell any of my things. Fine. Just look for another means of raising the money. If you're not going to sell any of your things, I would have no option than to get the car back from you. My car? No, my car. I bought it with my money. But you bought it for me and that makes it my car. Look, I need the car back. Alright? Fine. You can sell the car. Do you have any buyer or let me get you a buyer? I could contact one of my cousins that deals on cars. Don't worry. I contacted someone already. We'll go see him tomorrow. I want to go to the kitchen and get something. Do you care for him? No, I'm fine.
Yes. Mm. Thank you, my good love child. Sweetheart, all the best, huh? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Babe, we need to hurry up. You don't want the food to go cold. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't think it's wise. It's just a waste of money reporting the stolen car to the police. That's the right thing to do. Look, as far as I'm concerned, that car is gone. Those guys probably must have left the state. Before we go reporting this case to the police, they must have sold the car in parts. That means you have to sell some of your things. Yes, we need money to rent another apartment. No way. I thought you must have taken my car from me. I even thought you had something better to see. How did he go? I got it! Seriously? Uh, yes, yes, they accepted the proposal. They did? Yes, I am to bring in 30 plates of food for the 30 staff here for 800 naira per plate. You, you, you don't mean it. I'm serious. This is, this is great. This is great. Wait, 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 guess what? What? They have 30 staff here. Okay. Another 30 in the next branch. That means 60 pounds to feed every day. Isn't that huge? That's amazing. I know, right? It's amazing every single day. And the good thing is that we can submit the proposal to other brands. Who knows? We can even see the thousand. Of course, of course. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Come here. This is so good. Go, go, I thought go, it worked. Go, go. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is amazing news. Hey, you got approved by four banks? Yes, Mama. <laughs> we are to feed 120 people every day starting tomorrow. Wow, this is an incredible news. I am so happy for you both. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we need to hurry to the market and you know, start buying the food items. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Just a minute. I want to get to something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who would have thought? I know, right? Finally. What do you do? Ah, yeah. Take this. Hey, Mama. Take this. Ah, Mama. Okay? You didn't have to. I don't know, sweetheart. You are cooking for 120 clients. So keep the money, okay? So he said you can pay me back when you come rich. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. So you take care of yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. You're not changing. Uh, there's no time. Uh, you have to, Grandma, okay? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, Mama. All right. Yes. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Where is she? I just left her here now. Babe! Ah, you guys are bad. You guys are the bad ass. Eh? Like you were able to put up that spot so well. Eh? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Those guns were leaving. Ah, toy guns. You are the real actors. You are the real actors. Eh? <laughs> Tell me, where did you take the car to? Okay, see, see what you'll do, right? Take this car to my sister's compound. Yes. Tell her that 
she should keep the car safe till I return. Like I'm trying to gather the little things I can gather from this God forsaking marriage. You understand? So that, that he doesn't have anything, no. he's broke. He's as broke as whatever I can call it. <laughs> and I will send you money to get and pull him to cover the car. You know, it's a white car and because of the sun, you know, the rain and dust. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> if I see anything to collect, I'll collect too. Even if not paper for the house, even if not paper, I could just collect and sell. Paper, no even day. Not in the house. The guy does. Yeah? No money. Mommy, they feed them. Where are you coming from at this ungodly hour of the night? Well, I didn't know I have a curfew. Who's that guy that dropped you? Oh, he's my cousin. Your cousin? Did I stutter when I said that? You need to stop living like you're a married woman, Frida. You need to stop this. What is that supposed to mean? It means you are no longer a single lady. You are married for God's sake. Stop coming home at these ungodly hours. <sighs> then tell me how am I supposed to feed you since you have become so useless. <sighs> Excuse me? Huh? As for your information, someone has to put food on the table. Someone has to feed your lazy ass. And if I don't go see my cousins, how am I supposed to achieve that? So before you start to nag about my coming back late, you should better use your tongue and count your feet. Get that into your thick skull. Do you hear me? Frida. I'm done talking. Thick skull. Just listen. Did you break, Ken? Good morning. And what are you doing with those eggs? Making breakfast. Making breakfast? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ken, you are making breakfast. That is all you do in this house. Wake up, eat, and go back to bed. Ken! Why don't you go out there and hustle like your fellow men? Because I'm beginning to get sick and tired of feeding your lazy ass in this house. If you want to fry eggs, 
go outside and buy some for yourself. Better still, fry the ones in between your thighs and chop! I'm home. Babe, how was your day? Fine. I'm very, very hungry. Is there safe food in the pot? Hmm. I can go to the kitchen and have yours. Babe, there's no food in the kitchen now. Hmm? There's no food in the pot. No food in the pot. Hmm? <laughs> there's no food remaining in the pot. I'm hungry. Because if you're hungry, go outside and get food for yourself. Hmm? Or you've not heard of the word, no food for an easy man. Hmm? But you're eating. Am I lazy? So beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life, oh, life is so beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life. Unpredictable. Babe, I'm home. Babe. Not have a little game. I really tried to make this marriage work, but since we both can't reconcile our differences, it's best we part ways. I am moving on with my life, Ken, and you should do the same. All the best, Freda.
Uh, sir, I, I believe this is yours. How did you? Your, it, it fell off from your pocket. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. You are the food lady, aren't you? Excuse me? I mean the lady that supplies lunch for us in the bank. Yes, sir. You're right. Yeah, you know, I've heard so much about you and how delicious your food tastes. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you. And I can't help but to notice your work ethic, I mean, your punctuality. And you speak so good English. Do you mind if I ask, are you a graduate? No, sir. Unfortunately, I didn't graduate. I dropped that in my final year when I got pregnant with a child. But the father of my child, who is now my husband, is a graduate. Oh. He has a very good credential and ah. a, a high GP. Is that the man that you are always around with? Yes, sir. He is a very serious minded person. He doesn't take his work as a joke. He takes everything seriously and I believe that you love to work with him. Wow. I will definitely love to, uh, to meet this man that you talk so highly of. Eh? Thank you, sir. Why don't we meet together and talk business? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that would be an honor, sir. Um, okay. This... Yeah, this is my card. You can call me on those two numbers there. All right, sir. Mm -hmm. So let's meet tonight at La Cuisine. All right. And La you and your husband. Make sure you come with your husband. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. We'll let, be there. Him, let him come with his credentials so that I can get wow. to see them. Thank you so much, it's sir. Okay. Thank you. We'll be so there. Let, let I'll, see we'll there. call. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. God bless you, okay. sir. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Well, I can say I'm really impressed Life with your credentials. Thank you. So beautiful. Yeah. Well, your wife spoke very highly of you. <laughs> and judging by your credentials, I can say she has not lied because I am really impressed. <laughs> Ah, but you see, we really have to test your competence in compliance with your field of study. So, uh, what if I say that um, I would like you to manage one of the newest bank that we have just finished constructing in the heart of town? Sorry, sir, but are you you're a bank owner? <laughs> yes, I am the founder and the current CEO of Paramount Bank. I mean, where you used to, where you bring us lunch. <laughs> for the past months, yeah. For, for, forgive me asking, um, you are the Bankoli Williams? Dr. Bankoli Williams? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. And you, you have not wondered how I got to know that um, you are very punctual and you have a very good work ethics. Well, anyway, you see my staff, my workers, they talk a lot, especially when we meet at meetings and uh, whatever. So, I like to ask, what are your plans for your food business? Well, sir, uh, I intend to expand. My dream is to own continental restaurants across the nation and outside of Nigeria as well. Wow, that's a very good plan. Thank you, sir. Um, what we will do is that... Um, oh, well, have you really make research to find out how much it will cost to open this restaurant that you want to open? Of course, sir. I have a written proposal already that entails everything I need from the rent, the start of the business and the equipment needed for it to run properly, sir. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, sir. So what we are going to do is that you bring the proposal to my office. Let me have a very good look, look at it. Eh? Okay. And uh, But I want to assure you that I am going to support you. Thank you, sir. Thank and, you, sir. And in a very big way. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank yeah. you so much. Sir. Oh my God, thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you, sir. you, sir. And um, young man, so yes, when do you think you want to, to start working with us? I can start anytime you want, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, tomorrow is good, eh? So I want you to come tomorrow so that we'll show you the new branch that you manage. So you have to come very early. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Excuse I am so grateful, sir. Oh. 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 
<laughs> chief, chief. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very free. I'm free. Oh, okay. I'll be on my way. Yeah. <laughs> In the next 10 minutes, I'll be with you. It's okay. <laughs> oh, um, my lady and my gentleman. I'm so sorry. I will have to leave the two of you now. Okay, I have to run for something. Yes, thank you, I hope thank you, you, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, why are you called all of a sudden? I don't, I don't know. Am I dreaming? Can you pinch me so Babe, I can wake up? It's happening. No. It's, it's happening way too fast. This is, this is too good to be true. Yes, but guess what? It's reality. It's our reality, not our And the truth is, good things happen to good people too. Wait, this is happening? Yes, my lord. You're finally going to work? Going to be employed after all these years. Yes. And I, after going around searching for loans, owing people, yes. now I'm going to have, I don't know, possibly going to have to money work. for this. Yes, yes. Hey. <laughs> hey. This is what we always prayed for. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You start acting rich, you know? Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, oh yes, Just to, to, to to wealth, wealth, a better life. Yes, a bright future. Mm. Mm. Come here, sir. Enjoy your meal. Grace? Grace, that's you. Frida. What in the world are you doing here? Look at you, Grace. You have changed. Ah. Do you not work here? <laughs> Actually, I own the place. <laughs> oh, Grace, you know, seems to amaze me. It's funny, right? <laughs> you love dreaming big. I understand. I, I totally understand that. No. Can you just. Seriously, I own the restaurant. This is mine. She's serious. <laughs> you seem shocked. Grace, you, you... You mean you own this place? Yes, it's mine. The whole building. I own the place. <laughs> Why do you look so shocked? Ah... Uh, Yes, I, I, I'm shocked. The last time I saw you, you were Paul. very... Exactly the world. Right. So, and Joshua wasn't capable enough to provide one square meal. How much more? Two, three. So, well, that is the unpredictability of life. And as the saying goes, no one knows tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I see. You, you took my advice, right? <laughs> yes, tell me. Tell me, who is the lucky man? I mean, the <laughs> to be able to afford this luxurious place for you. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it wasn't just only the one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, girl. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Tell me. Well, actually, Frida, unlike you, some of us still respect our wedding vows. You see, everything you're looking at in here was gotten through a legit source. But of course, I don't expect you to understand. <laughs> <coughs> you want some water? <gasps> That's Kay, my husband. Oh, That's my best client. Don't tell him I'm here. Don't, are you okay? Don't tell him I'm here. Frega! That's strange. Hi, Mr. Ken. Hi, Grace. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> is my other ready? Of course. Please. Everything is there. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal. All right. Thanks for stopping Bye. by. That's strange. Um, Has he gone? Are you okay? Has he gone? Why? Why did you take off when you saw my best? Are you okay, Freda? Why did you hide when you saw Mr. Ken? My husband is your best client? Yeah, wait. Mr. Ken is your husband? Yes, of course. Um, I mean, not really, kinda. What do you mean by kinda? Is he your husband or not? Actually, I <coughs> jilted him. You did what? You jilted Mr. Ken? Why? But he's a good man. Look, Grace, it's actually a long story, okay? Yes. It's always a long story with you. So tell me, does he come here with the car? <laughs> Is that even a question? Mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't just come here with a car. Mm -hmm. He so, comes here with different fleet of cars. He doesn't know that. I'm shocked at that. Wait a minute. Ken here has other cars. Good, um, luxurious cars. And you know people should know since you claim to be his wife. Exactly. Shh, jo, jo. <gasps> Are you hot? I, I think I... Uh, somebody should just wake me up from this dream. <laughs> it's not a dream, darling. So how do you like us now? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you. Are you, are you leaving? I'll call you later. See you oh. soon. Oh, it's Frida. We sell ice cream here. Hey. Who's on the with you. So what is daddy and daughter doing here? We uh, go tea and we zoom into the work. No, 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 no work for you, okay? Yeah. You leave that to daddy and mom. Mm -hmm. Go to work and you get to go to school. <laughs> yes, they are going back to school. I've never seen a kid so excited about school. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay, come. Let me take your order and serve you. Your royal highness. Give us three weeks to vacate this house. So, why are you living here? Well, I lied. You, you what? Yes, I lied about everything. I didn't get into any money problem. You know, a lot of people have been warning me about you. I refuse to listen to them. Not until Joshua, Grace's husband, got here the other day. How do you know Joshua and Grace? 
I overheard the both of you the day he came to you. Warned you to stop convincing his wife from sleeping with married rich men in exchange for money. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. My name is Ken. I'm Frida's husband. Frida's husband? Yes. I overheard both of you arguing in compound. What's the problem? Look, your wife is trying to destroy my family. She's trying to get my wife to sleep with your friends in exchange for money. Frida? Yes. Why would she do that? Because she's a destroyer of good things. That's who she is. What? Frida? My wife? No, 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 no. Do you know her before? Yes, we went to the same uni. She was my wife's roommate. And I can tell you this categorically, you picked the wrong one. Excuse me, what do you mean? Just tell your wife to stay away from my family, okay? And as for you, you married Frida. You married Frida. <laughs> you better run while you stick her. What does he mean by that? Frida tried to convince another married woman to sleep with other men for money. That means she can do something like that if she was in that woman's shoes. What you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow's life. Oh, life is unpredictable. Cherish every moment, my face. I couldn't sleep. I thank God I took his advice. Now I figured the whole you, this is the real you. On the other hand, I am aware you are in possession of the car. I beg your pardon? Yes. I heard you the night you were calling those criminal elements to snatch the car from me so you can extort me of some money, right? You know conniving with those armed people is criminal, right? That's a criminal offense. In your best interest, give me the car keys. Frida, in your best interest, the car keys. The keys. That's right. You hear from a lawyer about our divorce. Don't ever come back here. Don't. It's so beautiful. Life is unpredictable. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow. Life is so beautiful. You know what you had today, you might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today, you might have tomorrow's life. Unpredictable. Cherish every moment by facing all your torment. People and their comments try conquer all your challenge. After the rain, the sun will shine. After the storm, peace will restore. Cause life. It's so beautiful. so beautiful You know what you had today You might lose tomorrow Had nothing today You might have tomorrow Life It's so beautiful You 
know what you have today. You might lose tomorrow. Had nothing today. You might have tomorrow's life. Life is unpredictable. I know you tried many things, doesn't mean that if you try once again, you would.